flat earth, the fake moon landing, and the elite lizard people. These make up the cornerstones of the conspiracy world and have become known as the Big Three. Join me as I travel across the world to find evidence and prove these conspiracies to be true once and for all. Today I travel to the heart of Denver, Colorado and visit the Crown Plaza Convention Center to attend a massive flat earth convention to look for clues to finally prove that the earth is flat. Join me for an exclusive interview with famous astronaut Chris Hadfield and see if I can finally prove this shocking theory. This is The Big Three. Welcome to The James Theory, where today we are in the heart of Denver, Colorado, and we'll be visiting the Crown Plaza Convention Center to attend a real Flat Earth convention. I'll be surviving in a nearby national park, so the danger is very real. But before I go set up camp, I need to get food energy, so I stopped at a local Chipotle Mexican grill, which I've never had before. Let's head out. Okay guys, so we are at the edge of the national park here, and we're about to head in and set up camp. Uh, I just finished my Chipotle Mexican grill, uh, so we're going to head in and get comfortable and try to get a good night's sleep, because tomorrow we are headed to an actual Flat Earth convention. Let's go set up camp. Hey guys, so it's the next morning and uh, we had a pretty rough uh, night's sleep. As you can see, we are all set up here. Uh, I've already had to drink about a liter of my own urine just to survive. But uh, last night, that Chipotle Mexican grill really ran through me. And I had to fill up the poo bucket about five or six times. And uh, I just dumped it into the local river here. But as I was dumping my hot frothing diarrhea into this local stream, I realized something that also helps to prove that the earth is flat. So let me explain. So again, as I was pouring my rancid corn-filled diarrhea into the local stream, I stopped and was able to watch it float down the river for a long time. Like, I can't believe how long I was able to see it go down the river. Now what I realized is that if the earth was round, like some people think, my diarrhea should have curved out of my eyesight. Fairly quickly, I would think. So guys, I just think it's interesting how proof of the flat earth is all around us. If you just pay attention, you can kind of see it everywhere. But anyways, guys, I've cleaned myself up. So let's hit the road and head to the Crown Plaza Convention Center for a real life flat earth convention. Let's go. Hey guys, so we're here and I'm super excited. Uh, super high energy here. These are definitely my people. You can tell that the average IQ here is higher than the average place. And, uh, woo, flat earth. <laughs> but yeah, if you can believe it, I actually managed to get an exclusive interview with astronaut Chris Hadfield. Uh, I'm surprised that an astronaut would be at a flat earth convention, but yeah, I'm really excited to sit down and talk with him. And, uh, you don't touch me. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna sit down and talk with Chris and uh, ask him some questions. And he has seen the earth from space. So hopefully we can get some of the answers we've been looking for. Let's do this, guys. Okay, guys, so I am here with famous astronaut Chris Hadfield. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for meeting with me. I really appreciate it. And let's just cut to it. Let's just ask the question that everyone wants to know. Is the Earth flat? Oh, uh, okay. Is just an explosion. Uh, yeah, that was a big one. But uh, back to the question, uh, is the Earth flat? But no one has died yet because of the mutant salmonella. That's where the smell is coming from. Oh, God, do you have salmonella? Is that what's going on? Because we can reschedule the interview if you want. In truth, it's way worse than that. Okay, well, I guess you're fine. Let's just move on and uh, talk about the flat Earth. To me, it's sort of like brimstone, like a witch has just been there. It's a cool, lingering trace of a smell. <sighs> yeah, it smells really bad, yep. But if we could just move on. If you allow the beautiful, delicate nature of your human body to expand, it'll destroy the structure of you. It'll kill you. Yes, it smells terrible, I agree. But if we could just move past that. Your lungs are going to be sucked flat instantaneously. Oh my god. Okay, but about the flat earth though, if we could just move on from the fart and talk about uh, what we're here for, that would be amazing. The world is flat. Oh my god, what? That's true. 
Oh my God, it is. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. I mean, I already knew that, but just to hear someone like yourself say it out loud, uh, it just validates everything. And uh, wow, can you please elaborate on that a little bit more? Yeah, in truth, it smells a little bit like a burnt steak. No, not on that. Could you elaborate on the flat earth thing? Where they take a picture way up high in the atmosphere, you can see the curvature of the earth. That's not really true. Wow, so there you have it, guys. Uh, a real life astronaut confirming that the Earth is flat. Uh, this is shocking, honestly. Hopefully, this has helped answer some of those common space myths. Well, thanks again, Chris Hadfield. And um, what do you say after this? You leave behind your hotel key and I'll come up later and we can have a couple of wrestling matches. If you wrestle with a pig, the best you can be is a pig wrestler. Wow, that was really mean. But again, thank you for your time. But everybody that you know will die. Ugh. Okay, guys, well, that's the end of the interview, so let's head back to the campsite and debrief on this new information. Okay, guys, well, welcome back, and um, really shocking stuff today. I think we've pretty much proven the Flat Earth at this point, but I did do a little bit of research on my own that I wanted to share with you guys before we end the episode. So I'm doing some reading, and I come across this article talking about people trying to prove that the Earth is actually round using these light experiments with curved light. And for this experiment, they're using this light controller here, which you can buy on Amazon. Well, then I find this other article about people trying to prove that the Earth is round as well, and they use something called fluid mechanics, and they use an item called a fluid filter. So I look up fluid filters, and I find this one from WB Parts. Notice how their logo is a globe. F scumbags. But then I realize something. If you take these two items, the light controller switch and the fluid filter part, and take the two model numbers from these parts, you get 5118208 and 612120. So what do these two model numbers actually mean? Well, if you take these two numbers and you turn them into their alphabetical equivalent, guess what it spells? Flat Earth. So guys, there we ha have it. Proof that the Earth is really flat. I'm very excited about these results. This is quite the adventure we've been on today. If you enjoyed watching me prove this theory, make sure you subscribe to the channel and join me for the next episode of The Big Three, where we tackle the fake moon landing. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Just do the math. The numbers don't lie.